Hi, thanks for checking out this week's video. I had a friend who came to visit me for about 10 days recently and I took some videos of our trip just so I can kind of show you some things that you can do if you ever come to visit Southwest Finland. When you see this photo, it means I'm at the airport picking up a visitor. I have a friend visiting from Germany that's staying for 10 days. She's staying at our flat in Pernia. For this visit, we don't stray too far. She likes walking in the woods and swimming in lakes. Let me show you what we get up to. In all other instances, I'll show you on the map where we are, but for this first one, I want to keep it secret. There's so many lakes to explore that we never went back to the same place twice. The first place I want to introduce is Matidadal Lake. It's set within the Teo National Park. We hiked for a bit until we came upon a quiet section of the lake where we could swim in peace. Overall, the lake isn't that busy. It was a midweek in August and schools had already gone back. However, there are still people out enjoying the good weather. I've just had my first swim in a lake in Finland. Not just that, I've had my very first swim in Finland and I've been here for three and a half years. So that's taken me quite a while. I'm in uh, Matidadal at Matildan Järvi. And it's actually, it's pretty nice. It's, it's uh, been warm the last few days. So I think that has helped warm up the lake. It's not as, I think I would say it's probably not as cold as I thought it would be on one hand, but then you get to some cold patches um, that can be a bit of a shock to the system. After our swim, we went into Matidadal village and had dinner at Terho restaurant. Another day we went off to Kiriakala for a hike and swim. Again, this is within Teo National Park. I didn't swim this time. The hike was enough for me. Later, we went to Matidadal Marina for dinner. Over dinner, I checked my steps for the last two days. They were over 10,000. Lately, I'm only doing about 2,000 steps per day. On Thursdays in the summer, there's an evening market in Salo, so we spent the day around Salo. We walked around the bird sanctuary and had lunch at Boahensari restaurant. After that, we went swimming at Boahensari beach. This is a campground right outside the city center. This is my go-to spot when I want to quickly get away from the city. It's about a 15 minute bike ride from the city center. One of my favorite places is Rasepori. So in order to get out of the Salo region for a while, we went to Fiskars. Fiskars has great shops, galleries, and cafes. If you haven't been, it's a must for any visit to Finland.
Another day, we headed down to Tamisari. I like the restaurants and cafes along the seaside as well as in the historical part of the city. It was a bit windy that day, so we decided not to go into the water. We went to the beach at Vikstrand. The water was very cold, but the atmosphere was very nice. This was a new find for me. I will definitely go back there for sure. On the last day, we came back to the Salo area for a visit to Marunumi. It was the busiest lake that we visited. It's set in a residential area and the residents do take advantage of it. There was no one there when we arrived, but after school, there were about 15 kids and five adults swimming in the lake. So I hope that gave you some good ideas about places you could visit in Southwest Finland. Thanks for checking out this week's video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.